Hello everyone. Welcome to Chehit Soft Tech. Let us discuss SAP end user interview question and answers. What is SAP? Answer: SAP stands for Systems Applications and Products in Data Processing. It is an enterprise resource planning software that integrates various business functions such as finance, human resource, production and supply chain into a single unfilled system. Can you explain the difference between a transaction code T code and a module in SAP? Answer: A transaction code T code is a shortcut to access specific functions within SAP such as creating a sales order or running a report. A module in SAP refers to a specific functional area such as SAP FI financial accounting SAP MM materials management or SAP SD sales and distribution what modules of SAP have you worked with answer i have worked with several SAP modules including SAP FI for financial accounting SAP MM for materials management and SAP SD for sales and distribution each module helps in managing different aspects of business operations describe your daily tasks as an SAP end user answer as an SAP end user my daily tasks involve creating and processing purchase orders managing inventory levels generating financial reports updating master data and ensuring data accuracy in the system i also collaborate with other departments to streamline processes and resolve any issues how do you ensure data accuracy in sap answer to ensure data accuracy i follow standard operating procedures from data entry perform regular data audits and utilize validation rules and checks within sap i also stay updated with any system changes or updates that may impact data integrity can you explain a situation where you had to troubleshoot an sap issue answer once we encountered an issue with inventory discrepancies i traced the problem back to incorrect goods receipt entries by cross checking physical inventory with sap records i identified and corrected the errors and then updated the team on proper data entry protocols to prevent future issues how do you create a sales order in sap answer to create a sales order i use transaction code va01 i enter the necessary customer information select the relevant sales organization distribution channel and division then input the material and quantity after verifying all details i save the order what is the purpose of sap's material master answer the material master contains all the essential information about materials and company uses including data for purchasing inventory management production planning and sales it ensure consistency and accuracy across different departments how do you handle sap system errors on performance issues answer for system errors i first check error messages and logs to identify the issue if it's something i cannot resolve i accelerate it to the sap support team for performance issues i check for system updates clear cache and some time suggest running performance optimization tools what step would you take if a financial posting goes wrong in sap answer if a financial posting goes wrong i would first receive the posting details to identify the error next i would reverse the incorrect entry using the appropriate reversal transaction code example fp08 for reversing a document after that i would make the correct posting and verify the changes to ensure everything is accurate how do you handle request for 
How do you handle request for custom reports in SAP? Answer for custom report request, I gather detailed requirements for the requester to understand the data and format needed. I then use SAP's reporting tools such as SAP Query or Custom ABAP reports to generate the report. Finally, I validate the report with the requester to ensure it meets their needs. How do you stay updated with new SAP features and updates? Answer: I stay updated with new SAP features and updates by attending SAP training sessions, webinars and user group meetings. I also subscribe to SAP new letters and follow relevant blogs and forums. Can you describe a time when you had to work under pressure to meet a deadline in SAP? Answer: During a financial quarter and closing, we had to process a high volume of transaction within a short time frame. I prioritized tasks, worked efficiently, and collaborated closely with my team to ensure our entries were accurate and submitted on time. We successfully met the deadline with minimal errors. How do you create a purchase order in SAP? Answer: To create a purchase order, I use transaction code ME21N. I enter the vendor information, purchase organization, and purchase group. Then I add the material number, quantity, and delivery date. After receiving all details and ensuring accuracy, I save the purchase order. What is the use of transaction code MIGO in SAP? Answer: Transaction code MIGO is used for goods movement such as goods receipts, goods issues, and transfer postings. It allows users to manage inventory levels by recording. the physical moment of goods in and out of the warehouse how do you perform a stock transfer in sap answer to perform a stock transfer i use transaction code mb1b i enter the moment time example 301 for plan to plan transfer the material number quantity and the source of destination storage locations After verifying all informations, I post the transfer. What is the difference between a cost center and a profit center in SAP? Answer: A cost center is used to track where costs are incurred within an organization, often linked to specific departments or projects. A profit center is used to track both cost and revenues, helping to assess the profitability of different segments within the company explain the purpose of the sap vendor master record answer the sap vendor master record contains all the essential information about a vendor that is required for procurement and accounting purpose this includes contact details payment terms currency and task information it ensures that all transaction with the vendor are proceed consistently and accurately what is what is the use of transaction code fblin answer transaction code fblin is used to display vendor line items it allows users to view all transaction related to a specific vendor including open items cleared items and parked documents this helps in managing vendor accounts and resolving discrepancies thank you for watching have a nice day